In the house, Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas built and T. Boone Pickens financed. Welcome to Stillwater, Oklahoma, home of the Cowboys, where the paddle people are ready to open up a can. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 12 team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Utes will boot it away to start the game. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Oklahoma State Cowboys offense takes the field for the first time today. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Used the play fake. Now to throw. He's going for a big play downfield. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10. The inside handoff. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And now on third down after that last run. Looking downfield, it's Bowman. Getting, and here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And maybe this guy was hoping somebody would bail him out, like a tuck rule or something. <laughs> Not gonna be so lucky this time around. Give the defense credit, this pass rush is serious. It's real. And this quarterback is now going to have to play with a clock in his head that's going off just a little bit quicker. He's got to do a better job in understanding when to get ready. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Keithy. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. The gift to the back. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Ball's at the 17. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Never a doubt. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. Well, sudden change situation. You've got to give this defense credit. Their offense just turned it over. They held tight. They didn't allow a touchdown. They forced their opponent to take a field goal. Nice job.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll run it from the gun. On the move at the 30. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Takes a handoff. It's Gordon. That's a live ball. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, you! Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're lining up to kick it away, and that defense salivating after getting the scoop and score. Coming out with it, it's Presley. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Give to the single back. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll give it to the back. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Motion from the offense. Back to pass, it's Bowman. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. They'll try the run. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Not a lot going on there. Picked up a couple. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? 
Wide receiver now comes in motion. Takes it from the gun on third down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Owens. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. He'll come out throwing on first down. He makes the connection. And I love working the slot receivers, and you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys and those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking downfield, it's Bowman. Snags it over the middle. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Snags it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Trying to run it in. Into the end zone he goes. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Cowboys. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. And off from the shotgun. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical and limiting his carries. Now this is the way to come out of the gate and set the tone. Back and forth and already inside a minute to go in the first. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Big third down conversion, getting the ball to your running back, and he does the rest. This guy, I think, will get a lot more touches. And you want to know why he's on the field on third down? Because he can block, he can catch the ball, and you can also hand it off to him, and he can go find the sticks and keep drives alive. What a weapon. The running back has it. And he's brought down after a solid gain, and we are done in the first quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. On the move, it's Bernard. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. 
So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Now on third down after that run. To the ground to try to move the chains. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. And his offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, this offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the ground with the back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? From the shotgun, the inside give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. The loss yardage leaves him with second and 11. Out of the gun, the inside give. Quick step and go. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. The Utes will try to punch it in on first and goal. They move the tight end all over. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now on second and goal. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Running behind that left side. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. like. Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Smashes through. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. 
And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Back to pass, it's Bowman. Right down the middle. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Cowboys will send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. From the gun, running back on the move. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And the Utes will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll bring it back. It's Presley. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Pulls it in. It's Andrews. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. What well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. Second down coming up. Using his legs, it's Gordon. They get him on the ground at the 36 after a pickup of five. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They're going to ride this running back. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. And now on second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Bowman. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves, and he's got it down to the 16-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a man. Snagged in the middle, it's Andrews. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And they 
quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the move. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. With the run on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cowboys! That's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing, I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. He lobs one high down the left side. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. The bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball raining out of bounds. Now on second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's rising. Fires to the big fella. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get up field, and chew up some extra yards. He's right on target. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a magnificent game there so far in Stillwater. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's head back to the home of the Pokes and Boone Pickens Stadium. The Cowboys will kick it away first and will start the second half. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. They'll run it here on the jet sweep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense wasn't fooled by that play. Offense trying to go with the jet sweep. You see on the end of the line of scrimmage, the defense expecting it, and they actually get up the field, not allowing the ball carrier anywhere to go. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. The give to the tailback. Punches ahead. They'll give him a yard to the 13. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. 
to throw. It's rising. On target. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Utes will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Presley. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. The quick out. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. That just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Fires into the end zone. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. And you just got to wonder if the pass rush affected the QB's accuracy on that throw. He had his guy wide open in the end zone, but he had to throw it a split second faster than he wanted to, and the ball got away from him. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking for a man. It's Bowman. Finds his big tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Zings it complete to the right. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Splits the uprights. Good. And that's going to tie it up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah has it back in the offense coming onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. The number one goal as a defense is try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him. But nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. On the run, it's Bernard. And the youth get the first down. Well, that's just tough, hard-nosed running. You need one yard to get. Let the running back figure it out. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. He'll pull it on the read. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. 
And here comes the offense on second down. It'll be a draw. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. The Utes are rolling down the field. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll ride the hot hand. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. To the air. It's rising. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. And the Utes will punt this one away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, the running back has it. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to get it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Gordon. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. I mean, good news here, they get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is, make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision. To make. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Pittman. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Back to throw. It's rising. Makes his connection. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Grabbed in the backfield. It's King. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Man, this defense just has so much speed. You saw it on that third down play. The offense is trying to get a quick one, see if they can get a block and maybe spring a guy free. But the pursuit, wow, that was so good defensively. The Utes line up to punt it away. 
fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. They'll try to put something together, backed up a bit, starting at their own 13. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds a tight end. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Throwing right. Got his man. And the explosiveness. The big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Cowboys will snap it on first and ten. Quick release by the QB. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Hands it off. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Cowboys are on the move. They'll give it to him again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting on the play. On the ground, it's Gordon. Discards a man. Foul neck freeze, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. They're trying to get to him. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it out. It's Parks. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. 
Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. They'll go to the ground. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you've got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to throw, it's rising. Catch open down the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Takes the handoff. It's Bernard. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Caught in the backfield. It's Parks. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Looking down the middle. Touchdown, Utes! And they take it in for six more points. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. On to attempt the try. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. 
Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play caller. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. They feed him again. Quick spin on the run. Works his way to the 38 after gaining five. Yeah, you start day one in training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Dropping back, it's Bowman. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Yeah, it, it's it's hard. This is the hardest time because you've got to have plays and you've got to have scripts because you know they're sitting back with all the DBs on the field in a dime package playing pass. How can we get first downs? How can we complete passes and get out of bounds to try to save some of this clock as we move the ball down the field? This time he's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver create enough separation to create a positive game. And the throw out to the sideline, good for a few. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short throw. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. We're going to make it that easy for us. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And it's no good. He missed it. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. So here it is, plenty of time to go and an opportunity to move the ball down the field and win it, David. Yeah, and you rep this every single week. The two-minute drill, you got to be precise. You know exactly what your favorite plays are, Palmer. Go down the field, get me in field goal. And it comes down to the awareness, right? Especially at the quarterback position, you're understanding the timeout situation, working the boundary in the sideline. What's the clock showing me? It all comes down to this. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Scanning the field. It's rising. He's got his man. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. That's caught. It's Parks. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Well, I know it's early in the drive, but we've got less than a minute to go here. We've got to be more aggressive. We've got to take some shots and put some pressure on the defense. And the youth headed quickly to the line. Wants to throw on second down. Got his man downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds.
and the field goal unit is on the field. And it all comes down to this. Make or miss, win or lose. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. It'll all be decided right here. Win or lose on this kick. And the kick is good. His third field goal of the game. And three is the magic number for the win.